everyone, and welcome to another episode of Fujoshi Commentary, your go-to place for yaoi facts, recommendations, reviews, and discussion pools, all done by yours truly. Today, I'm going to give you some suggestions and fantasy yaoi readings. With thousands of fantasy yaoi out there, I'm sure some of you may wonder, where the heck do I even start? But wonder no more, my little yaoi sprites, because here are five fantasy-filled steamy yaoi reads that will take you on a boy's love fairy tale. Now just to note, this manga recommendation list is spoiler free, so you don't have to worry about any juicy details being spilt out in this video. So feel free to go in with no worries. So without further ado, let's get grooving humans. Number 5, Tatsuno Otoshigo by Ike Ribune. This story highlights the day a lone mountain mechanic finds a small child with horns unconscious in the forest and basically takes him under his wing. Throughout the manga, the mechanic and small horned child began their life together, helping and doing maintenance for the villagers. But then a startling discovery from the child's real father, a legendary eastern dragon who's been trying to find his child for about 10 years now, makes a sudden appearance in Suno's life. And basically, the story highlights how the mechanic and Suno, who is now 18, hold on to their love and face the obstacles that come their way. This manga has a cute and quirky feel to it, and those love making themes are steamy but still maintain the magical connection of their love. This manga is about 5 chapters long, with an additional side omeke chapter, so it's a pretty decent length, while still holding down the reader's attention for a spell. Number 4, Marginal by Hagio Moto. This manga highlights the life of a young boy named Kira. He's one of the four genetic experiments that was performed out of the desire of his creator to fulfill the lingering desire to have children. Kira basically is locked in a futuristic, when I mean futuristic, I mean 2999 is the year of this manga's petting, love triangle with an assassin gringa and a wealthy prince who bought him named Ashijin. Like the mass manga, Marginal's plot centers around two distinctive rankings that are ultimately split up into different worlds. The status quo of this world normalizes male-on-male -male relationships and even features some of the earliest concepts of Emprey, which sometimes can be misrepresented for Kleinfelter syndrome. Regardless with its complex and captivating plot, and fascinating as well as calculated world build, makes this manga a must-read for yaoi fantasy fans. This manga is a tad longer than the others on this list, coming in at about 23 chapters, but I guarantee it's well worth the read. The sex scenes are very passionate, yet not too explicit, while evenly balancing a gripping and symbolic plot on Kira's search for freedom. Number 3, Crimson Spell by Yamane Ayano. Here we follow the journey of a young and noble prince, Valdrug, or Val for short, and how he sacrifices his humanity by using a demon sword in the spur of the moment to save his castle from attack. So he leaves his kingdom in hopes of ridding himself of this demonic curse that plagues his body caused by using the sword. When he meets a respected wizard named Hawil, or Javi for short, together they go on a journey and find a cure for this curse. Thus the story begins and continues as it centers around Val and Javi's relationship and the obstacles that threaten to dismantle it, whether it be physical like the life-threatening demons that they have to battle or the demon that sleeps within Val trying to fight its frustrations and feelings toward Javi, or the emotional and psychological aspect where they deal with their love and hate for each other's personality and, in some ways, alter egos. With currently 50 chapters, and that's still ongoing, this manga not only deals with quirky and fierce fantasy tropes that give the manga some good action scenes, which aren't very typical of many yaoi manga, they also give some good old-fashioned sensual as well as steamy and extremely hot lovemaking scenes that even Justin Timberlake or Sade couldn't compare in making for songs. I highly recommend this funny but also steamy and passionate read as one of the top tiers of Miss Yamane's works. Plus, the art isn't half bad. Number 2, Senen ni Hitsuo no Koi, or Lying Words Honest Kiss by Mizukami Shin. 
This particular manga is actually a tad different than the other manga on our list. This manga is actually not just one story, but instead it is comprised of a compilation of five various stories. One consisting of a half-tiger falling in love with a very human that was sent to kill him, and highlighting their love together as they gradually fall for one another while living in the mountains where the human was ironically captured by the tiger who mistook him for a female. Imagine that. <laughs> How they learn to love and sacrifice for one another in order to seal their bonds of love while the other stories do highlight the rocky but lovely relationships between the rugged semes and the beautifully transfixed Ook who miraculously brings the magical warmth back into their lives, each story, while unique and different in its own subplot, they all still underlay the common theme of internal beauty and the power one person can have over you to turn your once completely one-sided mind, said as a rugged semi, 180 degrees to the side of happiness and joy and even show a tender side. I highly recommend this for those times you need a sweet and salty pick-me-up in your fantasy yaoi selection. And for our number one pick, we have Mori no Koi or Voices of the Forest by Nanobora. Here we see the life of a sweet and caring Dr. Ao who stumbles upon a demon auction while he's out and sees a demon the merchant is trying to sell. And out of the kindness of his heart, he buys him. Despite being treated terribly by the past masters, the demon is treated well and cleaned up and treated for pre-existing injuries and wounds. And the gentle doctor even gives the demon a name to give him a sense of worth, Ian. They grow and love one another, and the story highlights the emotional and social struggles they face, as well as the intertwining to other demon-on-human couples that they encounter and befriend. The stories highlight the demons' devotions to protect and love their human partners, no matter the cost to their own lives and happiness, and their determination to not allow the hierarchical standards of prejudice of this human world to take away from their power to be together as one. With five chapters intersecting into one another, this read gives you a classic feel of Miss Bora's adorable but mystical tales of demonic love. I recommend this to any of the average manga reader for its cute and funny jokes, serious and action-filled scenes, as well as the spices of the savory and delicious love scenes that will without a doubt put you under an enchanting spell. Well guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you've yet to do so, please like the video if you thought it was very informative. Also, I make two videos a week, so please be sure to subscribe to my lovely channel. Also, did you have any yaoi that was on that list that you like? Any ones that I didn't mention that you like? Please leave it down in the comment section below. And for that, all being said, peace, love, and stay grooving, humans. Bye!